at random. There are two ways of dealing with this. One is that you find out what your competitors have that's already worked. And so increasingly, the pesticides are copies of the pesticides that are already there. And a copy has to have some chemical modification so that it can be registered as something new. But not a very big one, or it won't be all that effective. And so what the chemical companies generally do is develop a strategy of picking, let's say, the same family of molecules as something which is already being used effectively, and then modifying it in some minimum way. Slap on a methyl group here, put on some bromine instead of the chlorine, and see if that works. Now, after my seminar, they showed me their labs, and what they had was a colony of grasshoppers. The grasshopper was there as representing insects. So if they put, a, put some filter paper soaked in a pesticide into a jar with some grasshoppers, and if they were belly up the next day, ah, this is something that might work. And then you try to see is it safe. So what you did was give it to mice, and a month later see if they had cancer. So it's incredible the way the industry tried to reduce the demands for validation, for safety, because they were in a hurry. Now they have to worry, what happens if it turns out later that this stuff is toxic? Well, we can delay that process. And so one of the investments is in lawyers. And the task of the lawyer is to say that this is harmless, or even if it has some harm, People die from automobile accidents also, and you're not going to abolish the car, and it's our product which is going to feed the starting million. So this is the strategy of the oil companies and also of places like Monsanto. Then lately, more and more recently, they developed the strategy of combining the chemical industry with the seed industry. So the chemical companies began buying up the seed companies. And uh, the seed companies that I used to buy from when I was farming are now all divisions of chemical companies and of pharmaceutical companies. 